Ultra Boost was the shoe that started all for me. The streamlined look, the lightweightness, and most of all, the comfort. When I wore my first Ultra Boost, I had a feeling of empowerment over my two feet. I felt this surge of happiness that I've never really gained from any other shoe before. Once I started buying more and more Boost shoes, I had eventually spoiled my own taste of comfort in shoes. The more I buy Boost shoes, the more I try to rediscover that same exact feeling that has brought me into the game. I almost got the same feelings with Pure Boost, then again with the EQT F15 2 3rd Athleisure Boost, but from then on, I was lost. Much like a virgin losing the virginity, I knew that no matter how many other Ultra Boosts or Pure Boosts that I buy, I would never be able to rediscover the quote unquote same first feeling ever again. But today in this video, with the EQT Support 9317, I can finally say that is all in the past, as this shoe has solidified my love in the Adidas technology. I don't even know where to start with this shoe, but this is the kind of shoe from Adidas that got me into the shoe game. This, this right here, is the reason why I love Adidas. Okay, so for those who don't know, um, when I first started out reviewing sneakers, my very first Adidas sneaker that I reviewed was the EQT 9117. It was uh, back in 2014, uh, December 2014, where they released a pack of three EQTs that had the Pure Boost 1.0 uh, boost bottom, and it also had double tongue prime knit, and it also it was turbo green because green was still EQT's color before turbo red came out, and that shoe was amazing. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five reasons why you need this shoe in your life. Let me just count to you how many materials are on the shoe. One, nylon. Two, prime knit. Three, EVA. Four, boost. Five, suede. Six, TPU. Seven, polyester. Eight, I don't know what mesh is made of. I'm pretty sure it's polyester. So uh, I don't know, maybe that's not eight. The inside material for the insole is also another material, but I don't know what that material is. And all this together, adds up to this shoe. EQT, for a lot of people who don't know, is the premium lineup for Adidas. When I mean premium, imagine Toyota's premium line. Which one is that? Lexus. And EQT is the Lexus of Adidas. And look at this shoe. It is amazing. Sorry, the ninth material I missed out was leather. It has leather as well. It has leather as well, but it's just a very small fraction of it. So when this shoe launched, it was the EQT 9317 Black Edition. This shoe's colorway is almost exactly the opposite of the Black's colorway. The suede and the TPU mold here stayed the same on both shoes. The difference is the color back here is white on the other shoe, but it's black on this shoe. And the most interesting part is this, this translucent plastic cage that holds the shoe here. And it's so awesome that it's not full white and it's just translucent. I don't know, it just makes it look so creamy. It has this creamy tone to it when it's translucent. I'm not sure if the turbo red side had a translucent cage on the last pair, but I did have a video on it. And if you guys wanna watch it, I'm gonna put it down in the link below. Oh, and also the last material that I think I should mention at least is this reflective material they used for the logo of the equipment logo. So the second reason why I should have this shoe is the arch support. If you have flat feet, this shoe will give you really good arch support that no other boost shoe has. At least from my knowledge, I do not know any other boost that will give you arch support. And this arch support is created by this hard suede, almost cage-like thing on the side. The third reason is the boost. It's super comfortable, but it's not too much that your foot sinks into each step. And the insole helps a lot as well. So this makes it comfortable, but not overwhelmingly soft. 
it's not just a normal insole with any other rubber or plastic compound. It's the Ortholite uh, Reebok uh, Comfort insole. Now, I'm not too sure where the technology is. I haven't really looked it up. Ortholite, O-R-T-H-O-L-I-T-E. All I know is that when I wore a Reebok shoe, that was the first shoe I ever had Ortholite in it. It's not the most amazing insole in the world, but it does take dampening. And that insole just adds a little bit more comfort to this shoe. Fourth reason is pixel knit. Now, from what I know, in terms of marketing terms, Adidas has not released another shoe that has pixel knit in it, other than the EQT lineup shoes. This shoe, even though they say it's pixel knit, is basically prime knit. The reason why I say it isn't just pixel knit or the other knit that Pure Boost had is because this is very close to how prime knit acts. Prime knit has this stretchy upper. It forms your forefoot. That's how it conforms over your foot. And no matter how you flex it, it actually has some elastic feeling to it. If you look at it, I think it's a marketing decision to call it pixel knit because it has a pixel type pattern. I just wanna say the prime knit on the shoe is incredibly comfortable. I'm not kidding you, this prime knit is incredible. And the only way you can really appreciate prime knit on Adidas shoes is if you take off your sock and wear the shoe bare feet. I know a lot of people are gonna be disgusted by putting your bare feet into the shoe, but honestly, try it out. When you put your feet in the shoe, wiggle your toes around and then push the prime knit against your forefoot. You'll realize how comfortable the prime knit really is. Prime knit is an amazing technology. And the prime knit only really affects how it wraps around the front of your foot, which makes complete sense why Adidas put suede on this side and mesh on this side. Because this mesh doesn't really affect the way your foot feels the shoe, it really just affects how much your foot is flexing and feeling the comfort in the front. The fifth reason is the price point. Now Adidas has its own subsidiary brands within the Adidas family. There's originals, equipment, running, basketball, and a few others, skate, skateboarding. But EQT is supposed to be their premium, premium brand. If you go to Germany, people who have EQT are considered the people who can afford expensive items. EQT is supposed to push out very expensive shoes. Just look at their EQT Ultra Boost. Their pricing is about $300 Canadian and up. When I first bought the first EQT I reviewed, that EQT actually is about $400 Canadian retail. And I was lucky to be able to cop it, but this shoe is $230 which is the same price as the second generation and first generation Ultra Boost. I'll put the US price here so you guys don't get confused with Canadian US pricing. But 230, that's incredible. Honestly, if you're looking for a shoe that has this much attention to detail, the incredible support that it offers, and the looks, 230 is a no brainer. And I'm not kidding you, if you get a pair of these at the retail price, it's well worth your money. I'm thinking this is definitely the new Pure Boost, but obviously at a much more premium price and a lot less availability. But this definitely takes the cake. The insole is removable if you guys wanna feel the Pure Boost feeling, but honestly, I don't wouldn't recommend it to walk every day around the streets with this insole out because it just puts your heel into strain after walking the city for a long time. Okay, this has been one of the most enthusiastic reviews I've ever had because this is just an amazing and most comfortable shoe I've copped to date. And it's well worth the time to camp out to grab this shoe. The next time that the new colorway drops for this shoe, camp out for it. I swear to you, if you buy this shoe and it's not comfortable for you, then just hate me in the comments. That's all I gotta say. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, EQT versus Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost is still better. You know what? You're right. If you have the right support on your feet already, if you have the right arches, if you if your feet doesn't really need that much support in general, then Ultra Boost is perfect for you. All you need is the boost material. But for me personally, I have flat feet and this shoe conforms it like a god. I'm pretty sure if I wore this all day long, I would not get aching pain from wearing this because of the arch support, the insole that is made of ortholite, as well as the prime knit. Okay, I know I talked a lot about this shoe and I praised a lot about it. I think it's time for you guys to try hunting for it 
And if you already copped it, congratulations. You guys, guys just you just copped one of the best shoes there is on the market right now. Even better than Easy's, even better than Pure Boost. Um, like if you can dish out a little bit more money, you should definitely get this shoe. But if you can't dish out money, then stick with Pure Boost. Pure Boost is still a really good boost material shoe. And if you still like Ultra Boost, that's perfectly fine. I know this shoe is not for everyone. Not everyone needs art support for themselves. And this is the reason why I'm in the shoe game and even and the only reason why I'm blogging and talking about shoes at all. It's the comfort. It's that sexy. Good comfortable shoes that are worth mentioning in a video like this is all the worthwhile. Okay, all right, so that's gonna be the end of today's video on this EQT review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Billy Visuals. Uh, you guys just got visualized, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.